Well, it's the day after Thanksgiving, and this is today. Today's usually the day we do all of our Christmas decorating. We're, we're trying. Phil's outside right now trying to put up Christmas lights, and it's getting windy out. So that's always fun. I have gray hair right now, so just ignore that. <laughs> I have to get my hair colored next weekend. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm utterly, utterly exhausted. Um, yesterday we had Thanksgiving at our house and it was just four of us, um, Phil's parents and us. And I actually went, um, I got it catered. Well, not really catered. I ordered the food pre-done from a restaurant and then I just warmed it up, but it was still a lot of work and dishes and everything else. And I was, I don't know how people do it with 20 people. But <laughs> anyway, I was exhausted. My leg was pounding last night. I just, I'm, I'm still in my pajamas right now in case you care. You probably don't care, but um, I'm literally exhausted. So, so far I've been able to finish the laundry this morning. I had to finish because <laughs> I was trying to get that off my plate before I started Christmas decorating. I usually get up really early to do this, um, usually like four in the morning. And I wound up waking up almost like eight because I was so tired and my leg was in such pain. Um, so I took a couple, took some uh, leave, and that's a little better now. And pretty much, so far, it's I don't know what time is it. It's almost twelve thirty, <laughs> and so far, all I've done was well, Phil did that. He put up the actual tree, um, and I put the I put the reindeers down. But that's all I've done so far there. And then we bought two li little two new trees at Bron Bronner's this year. Usually we have a Disney tree in the front of our house. But that tree, the lights were all messed up and we couldn't find another tree that size. So this year I bought two smaller trees and put them next to the fireplace and I'm gonna put the Disney decorations on those. And so far all I've done was get the lights on them and some garland and that's it. <laughs> and now I'm resting because my leg is in pain. Oh, I see the doctor on Monday, let's see, let's see what he has to say. Here's my tree. It's messy right now because I just, I just put them there. And there's no other Christmas decorations around there right now, except for the two little trees. And they're just little teeny trees. And I put green and red and some candy cane garland. And I put my new do my, my doll in her Christmas outfit. Cause, and there's Miss. Hi, Miss. She's got her Christmas gear on. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I usually get it all done in one day. I'm thinking it might take two this year. Because <laughs> I'm already exhausted. We have so many boxes. I mean, you can't see these are boxes, these are boxes, 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 and Phil's got more coming up from downstairs later, and it's just a lot. I, I don't know why I do this every year. Oh, we put up our pictures too. So last year, as you can see right here, Phil, <laughs> Phil and I do puzzles every year, and that's one of the Christmas puzzles we did. And then there's one above the fish tank. It's actually a puzzle that we put together. I'm sorry, I hope I'm not getting you guys dizzy. I'm just too, I can't stand up right now. So wish me luck. Um, I'm not sure where I'll, when I'm gonna post this. I'll probably post this as part of the whole advent, uh, pre-advent vlog, but just wanted to share how much fun I'm having with my new niece still. Well, we did it. We finally finished doing all of our Christmas decorating normally, which takes us one day, took us two days because of my lovely knee. Um, it's feeling okay right now, though it's not as bad as it was yesterday, but we got the Christmas tree decorated. We got our little Disney trees decorated. Um, and I also went through a lot of my decorations that I'm going to be selling this year on eBay because there's just too many and there's only two of us, no kids to give them to. So every year I go through them as I'm putting them up and going, do we really need these anymore? You know, do we like these anymore? And that was Phil sneezing in the background if you heard that. Um, anyway, so I put a whole bunch of, um, ornaments up on eBay now that, um, hopefully somebody will buy. So, um, it is Sunday. And we just went to church and now we're back and we're gonna go to our Christmas market this afternoon, I think. It's snowing right now, so I'm hoping it's gonna happen, we'll see. Um, but this is our pre-Advent video. So as you know, Advent or our Advent calendars start December 1st at the Advent season starts next weekend at church. Uh, so we will kind of follow along what we normally do every year. We're glad that you're here if you're watching us again. Um, you'll see a couple of changes this year um, just because, honestly, a lot of you know, I quit my full-time job um, in August or July 31st. It's my last day with my company after 29 years. I started my own business. It's, it's going pretty well. I have nothing to complain about there. I'm busy and I'm making money and that's a good thing, um, but not as much as I made at the company. <laughs> I 
prepared for. So uh, this year I had to be a little more um, sensible when it came to buying advent calendars. We do still have a lot of them, but not a lot of them are the expensive ones. Like I used to buy only one. Um, so anyway, we're up here in the um, in the library, and this is where I usually open up the um, uh, self care type or you know makeup type calendar. So I only got three this year, folks, and here's what they are. Um, this year, um, Ulta actually had a 24 dayer. I don't know if you guys remember. It's kind of shiny. Um, last year, I think I had the 12 day uh, of Christmas calendar for them. Uh, but this year they actually had a 24 days of self-care so i'm going to be opening this one uh for the beauty calendars um a lot of people just a little fyi i this is how we do it 24 days of christmas um or the advent season starts december 1st through you know christmas to us the 12 days of christmas is christmas day through the 12 days after that uh so some people celebrate it that way some people celebrate it differently so we only have two right now <laughs> I might get one more. We only have two 12 day, ad, uh, not even Advent, 12 days of Christmas calendars. I know some people call them 12 day Advent calendars, but in reality, it's the 12 days of Christmas. And those are under our tree right now because those will be opened after um, Christmas has happened. So, anyway, that's in case you're caring about our, our way of doing things. So, I have the one Ulta calendar. Um, I did get the body shop but I got the least expensive body shop one. <laughs> uh, there was three levels of um, body shop calendars and last year and the year before that I always bought the most expensive one um, and I love all their products. So I thought, you know what, I'll just go for the, the less expensive one. I'm sure the products are all still wonderful, maybe just smaller, I don't know. So we have the body shop calendar to open and I did buy one expensive one, <laughs> just one just one um so here's the deal you all know from if you watched last year I love Clarins I love Kiehl's I, you know there's certain brands I really like but for doing this for a couple of years now and this is no joke you can only wash your face so much <laughs> right at least twice a day right so I just literally finished all the sample size Clarins stuff I had I still have two full sizes of Clarins left um you know from buying it um because i liked it and i'm like okay i don't need another clarence advent calendar this year uh just i've, I've got to finish what i have and as for the keels calendar which i really loved you know i love that one um that one also I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of fomo is that the word people use fear of missing out by not getting it this year but i literally have a bag of the keel stuff from the last year and a half or two years worth and i haven't even used it all yet so i'm like let's be sensible Let's not, I'm trying to be smart because of my money right now. And let's not buy the Kiehl's calendar. If I actually finish all the Kiehl stuff this year, 2024, then maybe next year I'll get the Kiehl's or the Clarence calendars again. So instead I decided to go with this, which has a little mix of everything. It's the Bloomingdale's. Yes, this is the expensive one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, but it has a whole bunch of different things in it, right? All different brands, all different things. Um, so I get to try something new maybe, but also... Um, not just have a bag of one kind or the other that are just waiting for me to be used to be used. So literally, that is it for the beauty advent calendars this year. Um, again, that was expensive, but the other two were decently priced. So I feel like I have a little mixture of everything, um, and that's that's the beauty calendar. So when we get downstairs, we'll go take a look at the other calendars that we have for this year. Hello, Philip. Hello. So, are you ready for Advent? Uh, sure. I'm almost too ready. I'm wearing purple already. That's right. Purple is uh, the advent color. Or one of one of the, the two one colors. Um, so Phil's going to show us what we have for kitchen calendars this year. Um, we actually have, like I said in my video of the beauty calendars, we also have two other uh, food type calendars that are under our tree right now, but we're not going to show those yet. Those are for the 12 days of Christmas. Mm -hmm. So for the 24 days or 25, depending on the calendar, uh, what do we have for the first one, Phil? Well, this is the 24 Cups of Cheer. Yeah, you uh, liked that curing. one last year. Yes. So we got it again. Yep. And it's not too expensive. I was explaining to the group we're trying to be less expensive this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we got something new. Fannie Mae. So Fannie Mae, I don't, are they local to Illinois? I don't know. They Might be Chicago or regional. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. familiar with Fannie Mae as much as, you know, they're... Since I've been living in Illinois, they've been around. 
but we got the 24 days of milk chocolate mm -hmm. to go with our other thing, which I'll show you later. Okay. And so, so this year, instead of cookies, because remember, we, do you remember last year, the cookie debacle? Yeah. Those cookies were not that good. Yeah. No offense to uh, whoever it was, Harry and David, maybe he made that one. Yeah. But we kept getting, oh, I didn't, we didn't, and the cheese calendar bombed last year too. Yeah. So we decided we'll go with chocolate. Yep. And last but not least, of course. Ooh, very heavy. Hold on. Let <laughs> me pick it up so it doesn't all come apart. On, on the mom. Mom. Can't not have our jellies. Yep. And it's quite heavy too. So a lot of jelly there. A lot of jelly. So we have jelly. Really good. So we have so basically from the morning we'll have our jelly toast or our jelly whatever mm -hmm. bagels whatever we do we have our our oh well, you have the cure egg yep and then and, uh, we'll have our chocolate with our other selections later that evening mm -hmm. um, and that's our right now it's all we have for our kitchen calendars oh and then I have I'm gonna turn around <laughs> I have I bought this this year this is kind of like the one we did last year on the refrigerator except instead of it being stickers it's just doors this is like a traditional advent calendar where you just open up doors and you show little pictures of things. We got that at Bronner's this year. It's really pretty. Uh, we'll probably show this at the beginning of the video with you know, whatever doors open that day like we used to do last year with the stickered calendar. So that's our kitchen. All right, last off is our dining room area. First of all, it is snowing outside. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's hard Yay, to see. snow. <laughs> it's flurrying. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Phil's going to show a couple of the calendars. So per usual, we got the wine calendar. Yep. So, and this is a 23 or 24? 24. 24. 24. Tw not 24, 25. 24. Yep. And it's from Wall Street Journal. Yep. This and year. It's very heavy. It's actually the same <laughs> one we had last year, Wall Street Journal, except yeah. it's a nicer, I think it's a nicer shape. Last year was like a tree. I don't mm -hmm. know, it wasn't a bad thing, but. Now, what we're going to be doing every show this year, we're going to change it up a little bit, even though we'll record them in a certain order that you don't care about. Um, we're always going to present the next one first for all of our gamer friends who can't stand the other calendars. <laughs> to be very honest with you. So we are again playing. So you won't have to go skip, 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 skip. Right. <laughs> we are playing Exit again this year. Yep. The Exit Advent Calendar for 2023. Mm -hmm. So it's called the Silent, Silent Storm. Yes, Silent Storm. So if you remember this from last year, we had a blast with this thing last year. Sometimes we got it right away, sometimes it took us a while, but we, we told yeah. you. And how we do this, in case some of you are new to this, uh, it will be the first calendar we show, again, on every show, so you don't have to, you know, like I said, fast forward through the show for the rest of it. So basically, every day there's a puzzle. We do we show you the puzzle, we explain what the puzzle is, then we take a little pause. We don't see the pause, but we figure out how to do the puzzle. And then we announce that we're going to give the answer. Right. So that way, if you're playing along with us, if you're not ready for the answer, you can either not watch or watch after, yeah. um, so you don't get spoilers. But we will show you like each puzzle day what the puzzle is, and then again, we will announce when we are announcing the, if we figure it out, yeah. <laughs> the answer. <laughs> um, so we really enjoyed this game last year, and we are gonna do this first again. I keep saying that because I want my gamer friends to know this will be first, and if you don't care about mm -hmm. makeup calendars and wine, uh, et cetera, et cetera, then you can watch it and be done. Yep. Now, of course, for the turtle, well, and the miss, turtle and miss hiss, of course, they're still with us, thank God. We got the merry and bright calendar this year. As you know, turtle typically comes running when she hears this yeah. noise. Uh, not right now, she doesn't understand what's happening because it's, you know, we didn't really start. Because it's admin. November, she knows. She knows it's not time yet. <laughs> As you know, she loves her fuzzy balls. We have about 5,000 fuzzy balls in the house right now, so... Um, I don't know how excited she will get now this year. Flush with catnip. <laughs> um, but the idea is that we'll see what happens. Usually she throws them on the floor if she doesn't like them. But we'll see. We'll see. We yeah. never know what Turtle's going to do or not do. <laughs> I love when she picks one out like, yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, you can throw this in the garbage. <laughs> and then what we just so you know, for those who care, the ornament, the, well, the, well, they are ornaments kind of, the mm -hmm. toys that they get that they don't want to touch, like within a minute or two, we realize they don't like this toy. We give them a day. Then we put them in a baggie and then we give them to the local vet. Yep. And they play with them. Yep. Um, along with the exit advent calendar, probably second in line, we will show, we got this cool, this year, Christmas cheer puzzle. Mm -hmm. 25 uh, countdown to Christmas. So this is kind of like last year's wooden puzzle where we had a yeah. certain amount of pieces to put together each day. We chose just to do one puzzle this year. I think last year, didn't we have two, yeah. two types of puzzles? We did one puzzle this year, and as yep. you can see... Um, each day has like a box mm -hmm. 
and then we'll put that puzzle together. We'll do the old speedy up so you don't have to watch us go really slow doing it. Um, and then eventually it should look like that when we're all done and we'll hang it on the wall like we do with all our other puzzles. We yep. tend to glue and hang, that's what we do. <laughs> all right. And last but not least, we, we are Bronner's this July. Oops, we're wrong, when we went to, whenever we went to Bronner's. Um, we got this old world Christmas advent calendar and it has ornaments in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell we're doing with these ornaments. But... 24 flexible <laughs> resin ornaments. Yeah, so I'm like, I don't know that we actually need ornaments now that I just sold a whole bunch of them on Hallmark, <laughs> the Hallmark <laughs> ornaments I was just going through. But we'll see what they are. Mm -hmm. And if they're cute, we'll keep them. And if not, we'll give them away or something like that. But I thought that was just a cute little calendar uh, from Bronner's. We yep. love Bronner's. $50. It better be decent. Um, and that's pretty much our advent calendars. And then we have our 12 days of Christmas calendar we'll do after Christmas happens. And then, of course, we have our lovely advent candles, which we'll light each day. Um, and then I'm debating what else to do. We're debating what else to do. Um, obviously, we have chocolate and wine to eat. We're going to do the calendars like we normally do. I was kind of considering doing a, an ornament of the day. I don't know. Some people, you know, because we are, you know, we have no children, we do all this decorating for ourselves. And I was thinking, maybe I'll do an ornament of the day, maybe at the end of the video. So that way, if nobody cares about it, they can skip on past it. Mm hmm and I'll pick one of our ornaments of the day, but we'll see. Thinking about that. Let me know down the bottom if you want to do ornament of the day. Just one, <laughs> you know. Um, other than that, I'm just looking around, make sure we miss anything. We're decorated, as you can see. We're, we got all our decorations up. Everything's ready to go. And now we're going to go to Christmas market. So you guys have a blessed day. Um, we'll see you on December 1st. See you. Bye.